The majority of South Africans are committed to nation building. This is according to the Institute of Race Relations. It says this is shown over and over again in studies by various bodies. The Institute says the country needs to build on its successes. All South Africans should know, and I think almost all South Africans really do appreciate, that we still live in the shadow of apartheid and the wicked and, and brutal and stupid oppressive system that that was. Mm. The question is, what works going forward and what victories, what battles have already been won? How can we grow on our victories rather than pretending every time that it's the first time, starting from fresh each and every time? How do we build on success? So one of the successes just turns out to be that ordinary South Africans, for the most part, are already committed to the Rainbow Nation. That might not be easy for everyone to agree with, but that's not just what our data bears out. That's what the South African Reconciliation Barometer's data bears out. That's what StatsSA's data bears out. Um, that's what the Institute for Security Studies surveys insofar as they touch on this data bears out. That's where we have a strength, and we should build on that strength. There really is goodwill between most South Africans. Where there's a weakness is in the ability for people to put food on the table, is the ability for people to feel that dignity that comes with work. And of course, part of the legacy of unemployment is connected to apartheid. Speaking of nation building and the Rainbow Nation, Stellenbosch University has been rocked by allegations of deep rooted racism. It was sparked by a video of TNS to toit urinating in the room of Baba Lundwayana. A petition calling for TNS expulsion hit 100,000 by Friday. There were also talks of the two fathers meeting to discuss the issue, but Mkuseli uh, Daguta uh, says he will wait for the probe to be completed before meeting with the Dutoits. Uh, he joined me now live to discuss this further. Thank you, Baba, for your time here on All Angles. Um, just uh, firstly, did the meeting take place between yourself and the Dutoit family? Um, I would like to point out first that there is no impending meeting with the Dutoit, nor there will ever be. Mm, okay, uh, just uh, tell us why is that? Because the last time you and I spoke, you were saying that what you found insulting was that du the Dutoits never tried to reach out to your family after the incident. Did they try to reach out? And are you saying no to them reaching out? Um, they tried to reach out, um, and of which it was a bit after the fact. It was quite late, you know, so um, as I said in our previous interaction that um, time for engaging the window for that has closed. Mm. How does Babalo feel about this? Is he also in support of uh, the, the two families not meeting? Um, uh, Babalo feels um, exactly like we do. There won't be a meeting. Uh, we, 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 we are going to uh, pursue whatever we need to pursue in terms of going forward with the case and whatever. So the situation is, uh, uh, Babalo is other person behind the family and we are other person behind Babalo. Mm. All right, I just want to let the viewers know that uh, Mr. Kaduga is with his brothers, Babalo's uncles there. Um, he's flanked by them and they said that they also want to uh, uh, throw in a comment here and there um, through our interview with him today. Now, um, in terms of uh, the school itself, Stellenbosch University, um, what has happened since the incident last week, Sunday? Um, uh, currently, I am in Stellenbosch now. Mm. Um, and um, I'm flanked with by my brothers, um, they are the ones who are representing me here whilst I'm not, uh, when I'm away. So they, um, <clears throat> they, in terms of what's happening with the university, I'm actually meeting them later on today. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a meeting with the vice chancellor at all and uh, the head of student affairs, Dr. Choice McQuitter, later on today.
Mm. Uh, I just want to go back to what Malume said a little earlier that Babalo is uh, support in support of what the family has decided in not wanting to meet with the Detroits. You also said, Baba, that there are some avenues that you're going to go for um, with regards to what happened to Babalo. Can you explain to us that we know that he already opened a criminal case against Detroit? Is there more that you want to see done? Um. Yes, the avenues that we follow, uh, we've opened the case, of course, and um, we'll wait now um, and see the outcomes of that, and then we will see further why, what uh, can we do going forward. Mm. Are you still of the belief that this was a racially motivated attack on Babalo? A lot of people, there's been debate because uh, the boy, Dutoit, was so drunk, you couldn't really make out what he was saying in the video. So a lot of people are saying, was this racial or just a naughty boy, uh, you know, at university? How do you feel about that debate? Well, we are quite angered by such sentiments, you know, um because this is definitely a racial uh, act. And if I might add, um, the boy has pleaded guilty to the whatever charges the university has laid against him. That is the latest point in the world as of now. Mm. And what exactly is he pleading guilty to? Is it the, the, the fact that this was uh, racially motivated or the allegation that this was racially motivated? Is that what you're saying he's pleaded guilty to? Um, I would have to meet with the university later on and exact find out what it is that he's pleaded guilty. But he's not contesting the um, charges uh, the university has put against him. Mm, I guess because there's that video that your son took, uh, you know, luckily for him and fortunately for your case, he took that video. So there's no way he'd be able to escape at least the charge of breaking and entering um, and uh, malicious damage to property. Now, uh, the uh, petition to have uh, Detroit exploit, uh, expelled rather from the school last week, Friday, it reached quite a high number. Are you happy about that? Is that what you want to also see happening? Well, for what it's worth, I strongly believe that for all South Africans, we deserve to know some kind of justice when it comes to things like this. Because the way I see it, you know, the person could have been drunk, yes, we understand. But then, you know, for the fact that you went to somebody else's home and act according to what you did right now, that maybe just eat on somebody's you know, laptop. That means that it, something has been instilled into your mind that you know you can go ahead and such because that is an act of animosity. You know, remember, remember now that the person that has been you know a victim in this case, you now the innocence of that person has been taken away. You look at it. now the person has experienced firsthand kind of an act of racism, and we we're just trying by all means to fight against that. You no, know, for just everybody in South Africa, not just for Babala only. Mm. And there are kind of unsaid things already that have been happening. So I say this is one of the instances amongst many that we are looking at. So it's best that you know we just I take this person to use the platform to work out for South Africans as well as to be, mm. you know, on the yes. brink of ending things uh, non racial. We are quite happy with the numbers this uh, petition <coughs> sorry <coughs> the petition has received as well. Um yeah, we need a lot of people to come on board and condemn such incidences. Uh, the fight is for it to not happen to another child again. Mm. We need to rid ourselves and our society of such people. Mm -hmm. Just very quickly, I have to wrap it up, uh, uh, sir. Would you, uh, do you ever see yourself forgiving uh, this uh, young man for doing what he did to your son? Forgiveness, uh, for in order for there to be forgiveness, uh, there has to be a sincere apologies, not apologies uh, of matter, matter of fact, you know, uh, just uh, uh, by the way. Mm. Sincere and apologies, perhaps we forgive, and yet that does not mean by forgiving, by forgiving. Uh, we're not saying consequences. Um, already I've been stating and I'm still firm believe mm -hmm. that for every action there should be consequences.
All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us once again, uh, Mr. Mkuseli Kaduga. He is the father of Baba Londwayana, that uh, young boy whose uh, uh, belongings were peed on by another student at Stellenbosch University.